Hello friends and welcome back to Stay Tonight. In this video we will be talking about a very important concept of React Router Dome which is using parameters. Yes. Using React Router Dome as you all know, we can easily implement routing in a React JS application and I have covered that in my past two videos. In one video I talked about everything that's related to React Router Dome and in the second video which is the portfolio project, I used React Router Dome to create a basic portfolio uh, React application. In this video, we will talk about how to use parameters in URLs. So let's quickly see what this parameters means, right? So when I say parameter, what do I mean? Well, let's take an example of an e-com website. And that's what, you know, we're going to make in this particular video as well. So we will make a study to write shop application in which we will have a products component. Now we will have a single component and based on the category of the product, the content of this particular component will change and the category will be sent to the products component as a parameter, right? So the URL would be like slash products, let's say slash gadgets to showcase all the gadgets and then slash products, let's say then desk to show desk accessories, then slash products slash computer to show computer accessories, etc. Then maybe slash products slash t-shirts right to show different t-shirts that we have on the study tonight shop so these will be category this won't be a complete url string that would be uh, you know referring to an individual component like this is different component this is different component no these will all be referring to a single component which would be products and these will act as a parameters so let's see how we can do that using a single component and multiple categories we can change data in the component and then we'll also see so in e-commerce website you also see that there are filters right so we'll see how we can apply multiple parameters in the URL. Uh, one of them will be category and the second one would be filter. So we'll see how using filtering also we can change the URL further, add one more parameter to the URL. So that will be fun, right? So let's get started. So what I'll do is let me just quickly clear this up. So this is the basic UI that I've created. I wanted to add some style. So I've added some style in this small, you know, mobile like user interface. So we just have a home page right now. We'll add more pages to it. So this is the app.js main file. I don't have any pages. So I have just home page which says welcome to study tonight shop, which is this right. And basic routing has been used. Like I said, I've covered about routing in details in another video. So please go check that out right now over here. I already have used browser router. I have a fixed section where I've created a navigation bar, which says just study tonight, nothing else. And below that I have used the link component to create a link to my home component, which is the main component and the path for this is slash. Now what we want to do is like I mentioned, we will have another component at path products and it will be products. So this is the component that we want to create. Now we don't have this right now. So we're getting an error. So let's quickly create this products component to just resolve that error. So in the pages directory, I'll do that. I already have a couple of pages created from the previous videos products.js over here. I'll use the shortcut to create an exported functional component and we have that. Okay. So, okay. We have to import it. Let's quickly import it as well products and this is done. So now we have a product component imported over here, the path for the which is products. Now we don't want a single path for this one. Like I mentioned, we want some categories that should be available in the products page. And when the user clicks on any category, we should be able to get the name of that category from the URL. The URL should change so that anyone can share a certain category product with any other user, right? For example, if I'm seeing some computer related uh, accessories on study tonight shop, I should be able to copy the URL and share with some of my friends so that they can also directly see all the computer accessories listed on the study tonight shop, right? Now this won't be possible if I don't change the URL, if I don't make modifications in the URL. So I have to have the categories in the URLs. So how do we do that? So let's quickly create some navigation options. So what I'm doing is I'm adding just links. So you can see these got increased and I will have some categories. So let's say have a computer category, a uh, desk category, just like I was mentioning earlier. Uh, then we can have uh, gadgets. You can have mobile accessories as well, covers, whatever you want to have t-shirts. So I just wanted to make this example a little interesting. And this is actually a good use case because in case of e-commerce website, we do see such use cases, right? 
so now we have all the categories set on clicking of these everyone is opening the home page right now which is fine now let's change the urls where we want to send them products and the category would be computer so this is how the url will look like yes this, this computer is added as a category now i'll show you that what change we will make over here in the route to accommodate this change but let's just first add all the urls so product desk then gadgets and then t-shirts okay so now as you can see this is my url i want to access computer related computer category products when a user visits products slash computer right so products is bringing me to the products uh, component which is defined clearly over here now how do i manage this additional category parameter so this is managed using this i will mention over here colon category and now i have informed react router dome that please do expect an additional parameter along with the products url and send it to the products component which is the main component so now this is done the url part handling is done so let's move to the products component and write the code for it so in the products component what we will do is we will be using use params hook which is available in react router dome it's super easy it's super easy uh you just have to import this user params uh router and what you will do is create a constant params and tada that's it now this will return an object with the key as category and the value whatever value is assigned over here it can be computer desk gadgets t-shirt etc and this will be stored in params variable as an object and we can easily access it so let's access it uh let me just change some styling over here first so that it looks nice class products i've created some simple css classes so that this looks nice card that's it and we'll say product filter see this is how simple it is and i'll just mention params dot category yep if you want to see uh you know this category first let's you know just simply console dot log it so that you guys can see what's coming in this params let's go over here i hope it works so if i'm clicking on computer it says as you can see over here category computer desk category desk gadgets and the url is also changing products desk gadgets products gadgets t-shirts projects products t-shirts and as you can see we are getting this over here so now we so now we can simply use it over here like this params dot category and tada we get it over here desk desk gadgets gadgets computer computer now what do you do with this category so you can do a lot of things now once you have a category over here obviously uh when someone is visiting the product component you will be sending a request to the database via some api call maybe using fetch call or azos whatever you are using or react query whatever you want to use you'll be firing a query to the database to get all the products right in that you can additionally send another attribute which is the category computer or the category desk or the category gadgets to sort of filter and get those specific products and list them over here so that, that is how you can use and this is a very good readable url as well in the url itself it says okay products and computer and if you change it you get the different one desk gadgets t-shirt super cool right and that's how you handle parameters in the url using react router dome but that's not it we wanted to do something extra right we wanted to add a filter as well that will be even better so when a filter is added url would look like something for example if i have a filter for price let's say high to low and the other one is low to high so we do have such filters in e-commerce websites right there can be popularity rating etc et different filters can be there so what i want is if it's high to low maybe you know add something like this over here high too low which is something that i can handle again in my uh, fetch call before making my fetch api call to get the data and i send it to my database and get the relevant list of products which is you know maybe sorted based on price or i can do it in my javascript as well once i have all the data uh, from the database i can maybe you know in my javascript code also sort them as per pricing right so i can do that as well 
So in this case, how we do that? The first step would be to have a select over here, right? A select drop down using which we can do some, you know, select the filters that we want. And on change of that filter, we want to update this URL. So a couple of things we'll have to do. Now, if you remember again, if you have seen the last video that I created, there was another hook in React Router Dome, which was use navigate. And where you use this, this was a substitute to the link component. So over here, we are using the link component to sort of link to or to change the URL whenever, you know, this button is clicked, right? We can also use use navigate to change the URL from the JS code. And that is what we will do. So what we will do is we will have a drop down over here as the user will click on, you know, let's say any filter high or low, we will trigger an on change click event for the select. And inside of that, we will use the use navigate to update the URL, maybe add over here, like I said, high to low, etc. And based on that, the product component will be updated. Sounds cool, right? So we will have to make a couple of changes. Let's get on to that. So the first thing that I want to do is add a simple select. Okay, so I have a select over here. Let's just move it around to this right side. I will provide the style over here itself. Let's not get into float. Right. Yeah, fine. So let's imagine, let's consider this is a price filter only. Okay and uh, on change of this select we will be triggering a function which the function would be let's say apply filter and in this apply filter we will be handling the event to get the value from here let's put the values as um, high to low and for this one low to high you can have anything over here you just need an intimation in your javascript code that you know what the user wants to see you can easily have conditions over here when you get high to low in the parameters you can do certain things when you have low to high you can do certain things right so you can have anything over here whatever suits you hl lh short forms can also work so to access this value over here what we will do is e dot target dot value and it will give us the value and that's it now like i said we will be using another hook which is the use navigate hook to programmatically navigate to a certain url and how do we use it we get the reference of this particular function use navigate and we then call this using this variable nav I will provide the updated URL to which I want to navigate to when this option is selected or any option or the select value changes. I want to navigate to a certain URL and the URL would be products slash the category that we have already. We have a category. I'll use template literal style over here. params dot category slash and the next value would be the filter value. Now this part is all set. I hope this makes sense. So in the select, I have good used on change event handler, provide the function apply filter. This will be triggered. We'll get the value of the filter and we will navigate to the new URL. Now let's see if it works. The, it won't work. Obviously we have to have some additional thing. So this is working. If I change the URL, nothing, everything is gone, but the URL is changing. So that is something that we have achieved and that's good. Now, what else do we have to make change? So obviously we will be expecting another parameter over here. And how do we do that? We do it like this. So I've applied another parameter slash filter in the products component in my app.js where I mentioned the route. Now let's save it and let's go back. The price says this desk. Oops. Another, we are not able to handle it. Why? Can you guess why we are not able to handle this one? So as you can see over here, it says no routes matched this one because it was expecting two parameters, but this filter is optional. It is not uh, necessary that we have this filter always. So how do we mark it as optional? We add a question mark in front of it and we are done. Yes. Now, if I clean this up, if I move on around the main categories, it is working. 
if I use this high to low, this is also working. Low to high, desk, low to high, oops, try to, oh, so obviously you can have proper filtering over here that this price one doesn't work. Low to high, if I go to gadgets, price high to low and this is working fine. So that's how you use parameters in React Router Dome. What we did here was we created a simple e-com layout where we had certain categories. We had a single component, which was the products component in which we were handling categories as a parameter of the URL. And based on that value of the parameter, we were changing the user interface in the products component. Then we added an additional filtering form and using that also we were modifying the URL. So this is a very good use case and people use it all the time in e-commerce website. And I hope this gives you some clarity on how you can use uh, parameters in your URL while using React Router Dome. You can have multiple, you can have n number of parameters and this question mark comes handy when you have to make it optional, like filter should be optional. Even category should be optional if just the products page also work where you show all the products together. And when someone is using a category, then you add a filter upon category and then another filter, which is price, high to low, etc. And you move on forward with that. I hope this video makes sense and it helps you understand how you can use parameters in your routes while using React Router Dome while creating your React.js application. If you have any confusion, please feel free to post comment and we'll discuss whatever confusion you have. If you have not subscribed to our channel yet, please, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos. More videos coming in the React.js series. I'm just getting started. I've we have almost covered the beginner part of React.js, but there's so much more to cover. So stay tuned, keep watching, keep learning, and see you very soon.